This instructional video covers installation of the ILOV system actuator to factory Nissan GTR shock absorbers. This video can also be used for other shock absorbers for other vehicles, but some of the components and steps may vary. A spring compressor is used to compress the spring to relieve tension on the shock absorber's top nut. The spring compressor used is the Veranic model 7600 in this example. Compress the spring by about 1 inch. For Nissan GTR kits with factory shock absorbers, use the supplied windowed socket and an impact tool to loosen the nut to one turn. Once loose, remove the nut by hand. Be careful to not damage the wire harness with the socket. Relieve tension and remove the shock absorber. To remove the bottom mount and shock dust cap, install the nut back onto the shock absorber and install the socket as shown on the nut. Carefully tap the bottom mount off as shown. To assemble, the shock absorber has been placed in a vise with soft jaws. Make sure to not clamp down on the shock body to prevent damage. First, loosely install the set screws into the spring perch. Screw the spring perch all the way down onto the threaded sleeve. Next, replace the dust cap as shown and tap into place. The spring cap will bottom out once fully installed. There are two spring bushings supplied. Locate the lower spring bushing and install the bushing as shown. It will fit tightly on the spring perch. Next, install the thrust washer as shown, then the helper spring. The joiner plate is installed with one thrust washer on each side. Lastly, install the mainspring. During assembly, the shock absorber needs to be supported on the bottom. A jack is used in this example. Install the supplied cone insulation tool as shown. On the GTR shock, you need to make sure to press firmly down to push the cone tool all the way over the knurled lip. Use a small amount of motor oil to lubricate the cone tool as well as the two sides of the actuator. Next, install the supply dust boot first as shown. Install the top spring bushing into the actuator as shown. Next, install the bump stop by pressing it into the actuator. It will clip in. Next, thread the wire harness through the actuator, then press the dust boot over the bump stop. Make sure to push the dust boot all the way to the top of the bump stop. It will clip into the top retaining groove. Next, assemble the actuator in place. The 
spring compressor will be used to push the actuator over the cone installation tool. Position the spring compressor toward the edge of the actuator as shown. Rubber bushings are used to not scratch the actuator. Compress the actuator about a quarter inch below the cone tool. The actuator should be perfectly perpendicular to the shaft. This step is important. You don't want to tear the seal in the actuator or a leak may develop. Pry off the cone insulation tool. A little force will be required. Make sure to not damage the cone insulation tool. It needs to have a smooth edge to be used on the other shock absorbers. For the factory PTR shock, install the supply 12 mm ID washer as shown. Use a half drive 14 mm socket or equivalent and a mallet to tap the washer over the knurled lip. When tapping down, make sure that the force is applied toward the center of the washer and not to the outside as to not bend the washer. Make sure the washer has been installed fully past the knurled lip and is flanged on the shoulder of the shock absorber as shown. Next, using the supplied lubricant, coat the inside of the eye lift top mount as shown. Coat both sides where the bushings will rest. Press one bushing into the bottom. Apply a small amount of grease on the outside of the sleeve and press it into place. Next, install the remaining bushing on top. Make sure the bushings are seated all the way into the top mount. Install the top mount into place. Note the amount of shock absorber threads exposed. If you have less exposed, remove the top mount and make sure that the bushings are fully seated. Install the 12mm washer and nut as shown. Finally, remove the shock absorber from the spring compressor. You're now complete. Repeat the same process for the remaining shock absorbers and carry on with installation.